In the meantime, the search is on for an inmate who escaped from the Story County Jail overnight. A maneuver used in a prison movie, but as Dina Kupfer explains, a jailbreak in Virginia City is very real. It's like a scene from a Wild West film. He was able to get out by means of stealth, not by force. According to Story County Sheriff Gerald Antonoro, prisoner Jeremy James Morales escaped from the Story County Jail Monday around 1.30 a.m. The 38-year-old pleaded guilty to sexual assault of a minor a few months ago and was scheduled to be sentenced and transferred to the Nevada Department of Corrections this morning. Not been a disciplinary problem. Uh, for us since he has been here, but he did know that he was looking at a 25-year sentence. Antonoro says Morales had been hiding overnight when the detention deputy performed a cell check. He was able to lock the deputy in the cell and escape the facility. Video camera footage captured what happened next. Deputies say Jeremy Morales escaped from the back side of the jail, actually jumped onto this trailer, and then leaped over the barbed wire fence. You can see where he landed below here in the dirt and then escaped into the Virginia City Hill. Several local law enforcement agencies joined together in the hunt for the prisoner. Canine dogs tracked his path from the ground, while Remza searched from above. We had the windows open all night, so yeah. you could hear the choppers. Folks in Virginia City reacted to the news. Well, kind of surprised, actually, but it doesn't taint our image of Virginia City, which is really cool. <laughs> Nothing surprises me anymore. Since the 70s, only two other escapes have been recorded in Virginia City, both ending with the inmate back behind bars. This time, residents of this quiet town are hoping for the same outcome. In Virginia City, Dina Kupfer, News 4. Morales escaped wearing his prison clothing and sandals. He's described as a 38-year-old white male, about 5'11", weighing 220 pounds. He has brown hair and brown eyes. Sheriff Antonoro says Morales likely acted alone and may be injured from jumping the barbed wire fence. If you see Morales, contact your local law enforcement immediately.